take the Lincoln Tunnel through Weehawken, through Secaucus, across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive, as we have, at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. A few moments ago, the crowd here was on their feet as their beloved Jets made their way out of the tunnel. They're ready to go. We're and look at this. Right away, a loose football. Recovered by the kicking And team. careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball security eluded him. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field of the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. From the 22, Newton. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. At the eight yard Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. A shotgun snap for Newton. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line. Second and goal. On the draw, here's White. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it right. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Cam Newton with a touchdown pass to Julian Edelman. And the Pats have taken the early lead. That was a big throw right there on third and goal. And the defense has to be prepared for, the for you to throw the ball on third and goal. Because really, second down, second and goal, that's your play action time. And you're not sure whether they're going to run it or throw it. Third down, you're usually sure they're probably going to pass it. Even more impressive that they got it done. And on the opening drive of the game. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And the Jets set to take the field. Take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now. First and 10 at their own 26. Now the former Terrapin. This is Ty Johnson. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Jonathan Jones there to make the stop. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Five yards remain on second down. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. 
Chalk that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. Flushed out right. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. And they'll try the air now with Darnold. Looking for Perriman there. He's got him. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brings up One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. On second down, Johnson. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots 41. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. On first down, Darnold. And this will be incomplete. Darnold physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Back to the air, Darnold on second down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Third and six. The shotgun snap for Darnold. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now, first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Sony Michel. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. He's brought down. At the well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Patriots seven, Jets nothing. Second and seven. On the ground, Michelle. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Ball carrier taken down at the 43-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. A play fake to Michelle. Now Newton got his man. That's Harry. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. First down, it's Newton. He'll get this into the hands of Bird. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the play. 
Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. On the carry. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? First carry for Damian Harris, the Alabama man. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. On second down, here's Newton. He completes it right side to White. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side but for lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. And this is caught. Touchdown. Wait, hold a second here. A flag down. Let's see if this will stand. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline <laughs> the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't even do know them? why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points Big and keep point. moving. For now Fulk for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. Makes the score Patriots 14, Jets nothing. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And in enemy territory last time through the interception. We'll see what they do on this drive. Can't wait to see how it alters what they decide to do in play calling. Do they continue to throw the ball? Do they want to lean more on the running game? It'll be an interesting sequence of plays that they've got coming up. Does it often affect the play calling with the interception? How, how much does that change what you do? I think it does depending on why the interception was thrown. Sometimes it's just a matter of the defense made a great play, so you continue to come back. But if it's on you, if the offense just doesn't have the confidence, if they're a little bit shaky, maybe try and take the pressure off and run the ball a little bit. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incomplete completion or even worse an interception throwing again on second down Darnold, Crowder's got it over the middle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 
A gain of 13, it's a first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Brashad Perriman, but it's going to be second down. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. So a line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. Now Darnold. His throw incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Darnold to throw again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Griffin. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Now the Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. Back deep for the Patriots, Gunnar Olszewski. This is taken at the 18. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And the Patriots take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well. So that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Slant route caught by Edelman. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Out of the gun, Newton. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. He's going to have the hook up to Izzo. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the red zone now, Newton to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again. Newton. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Again, Newton. That's complete right around the eight. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half.
Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. For the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Now the Jets' offense about set to take over as they head on to the field. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Devin McCourty picks it off. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Part of what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the route is on here in this first half. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And New York set to take the field. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. He gets it left side to Johnson. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. New York ready to go again offensively. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. To throw again on second down. Darnold. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And he'll be pulled down as a penalty flag will rein in as well. And that would appear to be a face mask. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and ten. Darnold from the gun. Throw complete to Herndon. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two.
So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. New England trying to get a place on offense. Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. He'll set up to throw from the gun. Throw caught here by Bird. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. From the gun, here's Newton. Catch is made by Harry. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam, puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion, really good pickup. Newton throwing again. It's grabbed over the middle by White. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. At the eight-yard line. To the air again, Newton. And this is caught. It's Edelman. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Cam Newton with a touchdown pass to Julian Edelman. And the Patriots continue to roll. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. And he puts it through. Makes the score Patriots 31. Jets, nothing.
Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. On the return, Corey Ballantyne. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the past. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. They'll stick to the ground game with Gore. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. He'll get a couple yards on that one. And the Jets are going to get a new set of downs. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. you got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. Second and 11 now. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. That catch good for five. It's third down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who could turn it loose. And, boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. That is caught. It's Perriman. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Back now here on EA Sports. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here, you've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. To the air again, Darnold. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing again is Darnold. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. Well, the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it up field, and that brings up second down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Right here, right here. Go, Mike 51, Mike 51. Again, Darnold. 
Able to connect with Mims. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. On first and goal, Gore. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll bring up a second and goal. At the 10 yard line. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. A 10 yard touchdown run. And the Jets are able to cut into this deficit. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead is down to 24. Seven. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And this is secured by the Patriots. The onside kick is recovered. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. And he's got about five yards as he's taken down right at the 25. Michelle, the ball carrier. That's a really good gain right there. After they the pick up five yards line. halfway to a first a down. The only problem Brings now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. It'll be a lot of chatter right now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Again, it's Michelle. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Put down at the 23-yard line. It's a gain of two yards, and it's third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. The ball's still a few inches shy of the marker after the three-yard run, so now a little soul-searching on fourth down. 
So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. This will be a 37-yard attempt. And Folk's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. Ballantyne to return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them. And they run that quick cut on the slant. And oftentimes, they can turn it into big plays. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And yes, out come the flags. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they're marching off another 15 against your squad. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. A shotgun snap for Darnold. And this is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now it's Darnold. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. On first down, it's Darnold. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. That catch good for only a couple. Out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Here's Darnold. He's got Herndon, his tight end. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Sideline and incomplete. It's second down and 10. Second 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Darnold to throw again. That's complete right around the eight. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Darnold. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Jackson. Intercepted by the Patriots. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. And this one going to wrap up with Cam Newton going down to a knee. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.